welcome back to the Irish healthcare system. Last time we left off, we made an extortionate amount of money from exhorting our patients. Today, we're going to hopefully sell some more drugs. We need to maximize profits in this hospital. That's the most important thing here. Like, it's just shelf the idea of caring for our patients aside. Maximize profits. I want this to be like make as much money as possible to fund other hospitals. I've learned so much. We're gonna we have the snack machine already on hand. And the drink machine. And you know if I rose to your taste, salty snacks. Uh doctors. Who's cheapest? Alright, and I, before we even get chairs for them to sit, most important building in the entire hospital, the pharmacy. These people need their drugs. Like I just threw up on the floor, a janitor, like, you know, it's just one puddle. Just walk around it. Janitor costs too much money. You are a medical professional. You should not fall for that. Pedro, you just... When it comes to layoffs, he's first to go. Um, oh, this guy's coming in and he's real cheap. Oh no, we can't work there. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hire you in advance just before someone else steals you. Because you are a steal in regards to your salary. Well, I'll let her around the hospital. You should consider replacing more bins and hiring a janitor. We don't need them. We need to, we, okay, we need, we need two news agents. Hire some assistant staff. You, it's six grand. Bernie Broccoli. Weak bladder hygienic, never been to space. No wonder this man's so cheap. But Agatha Mountain just came along. Employment reference terribly dull, unavoidably replaceable. A person with the personality of a mashed potato is exactly what we're looking for here. Service and news agents, get the shops going. They can sell more drugs here and teddy bears. Uh, come on, guys. Like, I'll put some snack machines around the piss so that there's no excuse. That, that, now, if you're stepping on this now, it's your own fault, okay? You don't have to... There. Oh, it's perfect. Every time there's, like, rubbish, we'll just put a snack machine over it. Now, some of you are going to be upset by this. But plants are not very profitable. I've looked into the costs in the books to actually maintain those plants. And that's why we're instead going to get fire extinguishers, because they're $50 each. Much less maintenance. Okay, I can forgive people pee in their pants. Who just took a shit in front of the snack machine? <laughs> that is not a cheesy govern. That's a long poop as well. Yeah, that's probably why he went to the doctor. Someone did it again! Who's- Oh, this guy has a bowel problem. Okay, alright, maybe, maybe we need a janitor. But we're hiring the cheap guy, Lionel Fidget. He's gonna be the one janitor for the entire hospital. Yeah, just 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 sweep the poo under the rug. I'm sure no one's gonna notice that. Okay, staff morale currently 48%. 47%? Okay. You guys are gonna crucify me with the hospital design come the end of this. Natalie, she has no qualifications. Perfect. Plants, 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 plants. I'm just gonna put more fire extinguishers. Why is everyone running? Ah, uh, because they're really excited to use the hospital, you know, they, they just can't wait to get in. This guy's so- that's my staff. He's just so excited to work for the day. What kind of name is Dave Mayonnaise? Do you think he used mayonnaise to, like, paint his face? We've kept costs down, we've, like, hired, like, only new staff. And in every time they ask for a raise, we'll just replace them with new staff. You know, it's like- it's like smart business decisions here. Alright, Hospital of the Year Awards. Here we go. Watch me win every award. Open all. Those are the only two that mattered anyway. Lionel Fidget is very unhappy and threatening to leave. Their top complaints include ugly environment, underpaid, very thir very thirsty. Lionel, that's not my fault. There's a snack machine right there. You just you just need to get a drink, man. We're not we're not gonna wait around for him. Wait, clown clinic required? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a clown vomiting in a bin. You guys just can't stay healthy for like five minutes. Did you know you can adjust the price to be charged in the finance tab? Oh, perfect. Yeah, because we have too many people here anyway. We're now 20% more profitable. The halls are too busy at the moment, so we can just like... We can wean out some of the sick that can't afford to pay. There's people still screaming for plants. The more you scream, the less likely it is to happen. Look, I'm gonna buy like an empty plot of land. I'm gonna tear down these like fa this family's homes. This would have been the building for plants. I'm just gonna keep it like empty and derelict now. But he's rage quit. How can you rage quit a hospital? Patient is unhappy. Their top complaints include desperate for the toilet. There's a toilet right there. I'll get a poster. Maybe that'll help. This is a hospital run by Poundland. <laughs> Reception's getting kind of messy. If we could have less people just like vomiting on the ground, that would be appreciated. 
These freaking clowns just coming in here and puking. Like, look at them. Disgusting. Dr. David finds very unhappy and threatening the leader. Top complaints include ugly environment, underpaid, thirsty. Why are so many people threatening to quit because they're thirsty? There is a drinks machine, right? It's broken. I'll get a second drink machine. I'm gonna, gonna break the bank on this one. Why are they all so unhappy? Say look at the reputation. Apparently, James or online rebels, the highest score, 100%. Our score is only 29%. You know, he's throwing about motivation. The, the solution isn't to like, uh, like boost staff morale or like give them some new services. Give them maybe a second chair to sit on. Just get new staff. Cheaper. If anyone wants to quit in my hospital, they're gonna be fired first. And someone please pick up the poop. I mean, it's okay, cause like, they're puking so much now that the new puke is like, making the old puke disappear. Cause the game can't keep it all loaded. So, I mean, the problem practically solves itself when you think about it. Okay, alright, I've, I've decided what we're gonna do. Because everyone is giving out to me about the lack of toilets. There's your toilet. <laughs> that guy's just immediately running. And look, the janitors again, they got the poo. Look at that. You got some cheesy grubbins for herself, too. Pretty hungry after that. Staff morale, 36%. We're gonna get that training license eventually, don't worry. We're getting there. More toilets, please? Do we really need more? Oh no, because that's just the men's. Okay. Oh no, you're right. Alright. Perfect. Hospital is in debt, maybe we should take out a loan? What? It just said we got a profit. Okay, well, look, the place is clean now. So, the janitors have done their jobs, so... We can let go of a few of them. Washington as well, thanks for the 500. Sorry I missed yesterday's stream. I did say you'd get more bits if you came back speedily. Oh, thanks, Quash. Don't worry about missing the stream, like, it's... It's not like math class, you know? Because in math class, you can skip a couple of classes and get away with it. Here, attendance is mandatory. Did you know you can return to any hospital with an organization using the map? All of the rooms and items we unlocked will be available. The game's telling me I should bail in this hospital. Like, that's the best staff room I've ever seen. Um, should probably get rid of the window, though. We don't want to give him any notions. We turned this game into prison architect. <laughs> Look at this. Publicity update. Darkwing Fox Raider just sent us a handwritten note following his visit to the hospital. Handwritten. Not even just, like, printed, like, it's, like, administrative thing. I'm s thrilled to see that you succeed in executing my 117-step plan for ideal healthcare. What an excellent plan it was. I'd like to point out, because, like, no one has any fate in my hospital right now. We are doing so well. Like, just, just ignore the traffic jam of people there that's, like, getting kind of ugly, not gonna lie. We're doing great. Look, staff morale. We're almost there. If we get rid of the staff now who, like, um, aren't happy, then that should, like, up the morale. Instant results. And you guys question me every time, say I don't know what I'm doing in these games. And excuse me as I pick up Doctor and Nurse of the Year awards. Okay, well, do you know, I... She broke my heart a little bit. Dr. Lydia Diamond is very unhappy, trying to leave, and the top complaints include pay rage, desperate for the toilet, wants training. <laughs> How can you be desperate for the toilet? I can handle a lot of the complaints with my hospital, because we've made some very questionable decisions. But the toilet is not one of them. That's the thing we're doing right. We have two buildings. Specifically four toilets. If you're not peeing, and you're giving out to me about that, then you're the problem. I'm gonna fire her once I remember what her name is. I kind of glossed over it. How exactly is this gonna get rid of the clowns? This looks like it'll like make them even stronger clowns or something. There's a lot of people just in the hall. And I don't know why. There's 13 people waiting to get to the freaking corner shop. Like, this is great compared to our online rivals. Our hospital has the highly highest yearly profits. I'm a genius. Highest profits. And the mayor is visiting the toilets right now. Oh no, someone just died in the queue. And then a mime pretends to die. That's just disrespectful. One star hospital, look at this. Do we, do we continue with this hospital and try to get it like a three star raiding? So I can show you guys how wrong you all were. And like how it's like a flawless institution. Or do we just, do we just start over? Okay, what do we do? Go for three stars? Or snap the hospital? Say goodbye to this hospital. It's a shame, you know, this is the most pro profitable hospital we've done. 
Okay, well, if we're closing down the hospital, um, we might as well just fire everyone. Because, you know, we gotta keep it being the most profitable hospital. What happens to the patients now, actually? Because <laughs> they're not- they're not all just going home. There's no staff in this hospital. What actually happens now? Every game is prison architect, if you try hard enough. Okay, they're now just locked inside the building. And there's nowhere else for them to go. They're all apparently very itchy. All the snack machines are, have almost run out. How long does it take for all these people to just die in the hospital? I want to make a haunted hospital. Oh, that would be cool. Like, especially for Halloween where like, there's actual ghosts. And you go in and see your doctor. Come on. <laughs> it's like I'm poking him with a stick at this point. Okay, come on. Go die. Come on now. Damn it, they don't seem to be getting sick enough. Their health's like holding up. I thought they'd just get sicker and die. This guy's been here almost a year. Okay, go on. Sell a vendor. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they all wanted to leave, but like there was like a group of folks waiting outside. <laughs> Did you know if a machine isn't maintained properly, it can catch fire? A janitor will have them have to find then have to find a fire extinguisher, put out the fire. Otherwise, the machine may explode. Let me just sell all the fire extinguishers then. 